performances from over eight countries, the 10-day Ishara International Puppet Festival brought to the national capital a spectacular mix of both traditional and modern forms of puppetry. Take a look. The great poet Romy is teaching, is life, is poetry, a great book of knowledge. A performance in progress inspired by the writings of the great Persian poet Maulana Muhammad Jalaluddin Balkhi, better known as Rumi. Do you want anything as a gift from India? Performed by the Rumi Balki company, The Merchant and the Parrot is a collaboration between Afghanistan and Germany. Founded in 2016 by the students of the Ernst Busch Academy in Berlin, their first piece takes inspiration from the cultures of the two countries and the trio aims to spread the message of puppetry as an art form across the globe. Using masks and everyday objects, the story is a colourful extravaganza about existence, life and freedom. It's a story about freedom and being able to move everywhere you want. So his background, because he came from Afghanistan, of course, was our inspiration. We didn't know Rumi before, so we had, this was our way to get to know him. The parrot and the merchant uh, from Maulana Jalaluddin Balkhi, I became interested because of the cage. We cannot escape uh, from our life uh, in a cage. This, this was interesting for me. Please, hey, this is the... This was the story of the parrot and the merchant. Thank you. Founded by veteran puppeteer Dadi Padamji in 1986, the Ishara Puppet Theatre Trust has worked and trained a large group of puppeteers, artists and actors, combining their skills and styles to narrate different forms of storytelling. The 15th international edition of the festival this year also included an exhibition featuring a diverse collection of puppets, puppeteers and their works with the earliest work from 1980s. In 1980 there were maybe two or three and um, I managed to retrieve some of them or many of the old puppets from Sri Ram Center which were being discarded. Uh, Ishara has done a really long four year UNESCO supported uh, project which was on HIV awareness, using puppets, masks, actors. From Taiwan to Indonesia and from Spain to Palestine, the 10-day festival was a celebration of puppetry's many forms and styles, <coughs> with captivating performances by different countries the festival brought to life their varied aesthetics and creativity. Inspired by Palestinian folk tales, Home Sweet Home by Bethlehem-based Fairuz Nastas is a heartwarming story of a physically challenged boy who longs for acceptance. <laughs> With the technology in 2017, it's destroying the minds of the child. It was really important for us to call them back to go to the books and to the, that takes them to imaginary worlds. That's why we were able to participate in Ishara because our story is universal. In New Delhi with camera person Ajmal Jami and Jay Lakshmi Sagul Sim, Martina Roy for NDTV.